Well, several businesses, residences, and even churches in San Jose are sending a powerful message to a couple of the biggest banks in the country. They are withdrawing all of their money and putting it someplace else. ABC 7's Karina Russ joins us from San Jose with the story. Karina. Right, we're outside City Hall where Occupy San Jose has a small but persistent presence here. And today, a community group capitalized on this movement to launch its own economic strategy. Community members lined up at a news conference in San Jose today to send a message to big banks. Today I stand here with my community and end my nine-year relationship with Bank of America. I am moving $150,000 from Wells Fargo to a credit union. Today we say not one more home stolen from our community by the banks. Bank of America, not with my money. Enough. A community group called PACT is launching the divestment strategy as a way to pressure banks into reducing foreclosures and increasing loan modifications. Most Holy Trinity Church in San Jose says it is closing two accounts with Bank of America and moving $3 million in annual account activity to a credit union. We have 5,000 or more families in the parish. So, so I mean, uh, the word spreads, the word will spread, and I, I hope that it makes a difference. Bank of America issued a statement to ABC seven saying it was both sorry and surprised to hear the church is unhappy and went on to note that it has modified more than 193,000 mortgages in California since the housing crisis began in 2008. As the Wall Street occupation gains momentum, though, this group is convinced closing accounts is a specific economic strategy that can have an impact on changing policy. I just felt like they were using my money to give big corporate bonuses and for closing on our people. So I did not want them to do that with my money. A Bank of America representative told me that they would be happy to personally meet with church officials and address their concerns, but should they or anyone else want to close their account, the bank will work with them to do so. In San Jose, Karina Rusk, ABC 7 News. Karina, thanks very much. Well, our viewers have a lot to say on our Facebook page about this movement. Becky writes, I know what you mean. I'm one of the 50 million. The government cannot help with extending our unemployment. I do not blame them. We don't have the money. You can join the conversation at facebook.com slash ABC7 News.